There's some new tools out there. Anybody know who these guys are? You know it. You, who is it? Thank you. These guys sucked, okay? <laughs> but, I mean, where are they now? Donnie Wahlberg's lucky his brother's the one that actually became successful, even though he was Marky Mark. Ugh. Ugh. Awful. But we're not here to talk about those guys, are we? But they are tools, and I want to show you some new tools. So there's a double meaning there. Google Trends, which we skipped to, and I showed you the accounting job versus accounting job. I think that might have been somewhat eye-opening. But that's only one way to use this. I don't know if any of you have seen my article um, that I wrote about this a while back. So if you did, this is verbatim from it. Check your iPod or your MP3, Rio, player, whatever, uh, for the next couple of minutes. But if you haven't, take a look at something. How you go about using your homepage real estate is a very important thing during different times of the season, potentially. And because I love watches, although I don't have one on today, I typed in tag Hoyer, Movado, and Omega watches. What you'll notice is that Omega is typed in so much more than all the others every month of the year. Come holiday season, Movado jumps from the stepchild to even sometimes higher than Omega. So what does that mean? What that means is come holiday time, you better make sure Omega and Movado get the same amount of play if you're looking between Omega, Movado, and Tag Heuer, you now know, leave Tag off on the side, but you better make some space for Movado if you can. If you want to optimize for that term, you better start six months out so that when the holiday season comes, you're ready. Another thing, just so that you're aware, because I'm not, I don't, this isn't in my bookmarks, is with Google Trends, you'll see over here to the right, we have United States in all years. You can actually do these searches by different countries and by different times. Make sure that you do your searches if your audience is US-based. Do them for the US because these people will skew your results like mad. What people in the UK type in, this is another thing that Google, uh, not Google Trends, Overture Keyword Tool doesn't tell you this. What people type in the UK sometimes is absolutely different than people in the United States versus other, other places. If you look at the bottom here, one of the neat things, it's giving me cities where this was most often typed in. This is a guess. This is not the kind of thing where you want to run out and open up a shop in Miami to sell you know, Movados but it's giving you an idea of some of the regions where people may be typing in these terms. Competitive analysis, this is pretty easy. If you target some terms and you're doing PR and other things to build recognition for your brand and the gap between you and your competitor stays the same, I don't know how well that PR worked for you. Now, is this going to tell you that it didn't work? No, do not take a tool and run with it. But it may give you an indication that you might want to do a little more digging in the sense of what did that campaign actually do for you. How many of you have seen the commercial for Google, where it says Google Pontiac, instead of saying go to Pontiac.com, it says Google Pontiac? Good. I bet you that whoever came up with that idea told the firm, oh, this that worked great, it worked great. It didn't work great. You know why? Because my buddies at Google have showed me the way. If you look at the search trend for the word Pontiac in Google, how many times people search for the word Pontiac and compared it to Mazda? Pontiac, with their solstice, is trying to compete with Mazda's Miata. okay? They're flat. They're flat. But there is a spike back in 2004. Anybody got an idea? If anybody answers this, I'll give you an hour on the phone of free consulting. Oprah. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Oprah. And you know how I figured that out? If you take Pontiac out, that's really good. See, you guys didn't think Oprah would come in handy. You guys, uh. <laughs> Watch. When I put in Pontiac, notice how it puts these letters above that spike Letter A, if you look over to the right, Pontiac hopes Oprah giveaway will capture more attention for blah, blah, blah. Guess what? It did capture attention. But that whole Google Pontiac thing, nah, sorry, didn't work. Their firm will tell them that that worked for here until, until the cows come home. It didn't work. You know what? Call Oprah again. She works. Because this isn't even a, a minor difference. You're talking about the huge to little. So. That's search trends. One quick thing. MSN has a new thing called Ad Lab. How many of you have heard of it? People that have heard of it, you guys are on top of this. This only came out about two weeks ago. And one of the best things it does, and pardon me if I start speeding up here, um, but there's a few things I want to get to. One of the things it does is if you type in BMW, and this is the example they give because their data set is not big. So right now, for most of your things that you're optimizing for, they're not going to have data on this yet. But what it does is their ad funnel will show you what people typed in before and what they typed in after they typed in your keyword. So now you're saying, well, the average person that typed in BMW 
After making that search, we typically did a search for not Mercedes, for Mercedes. Obviously, this tool is truncating the plural, so it's not there. They searched for Lexus, Audi, and Mercedes Benz, and then Honda was the next one. You can also do this for what they call incoming. So up here where you see direction, if you do it for incoming, it'll show you the five before someone typed in BMW. This is going to be a really nice tool once they get more data into it. 